it is a remarkable story. The sort of story you read on paper, think that can't possibly be true, <clears throat> but you you lived it. When did you first realise that things sort of weren't quite as they should be? Um, I don't think I, I really, I really did at the time. Uh, when the when everything was happening to me, it was quite a. Um, it was quite a strange time mm. for me. I had, I had to come to terms with a lot, a lot of stuff. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. So, so um, t taking yourself back to how you felt then, if you were sitting in a situation like this with Ben and I and Dr. Hillary there, what would you be feeling? Like we were alive and you were dead? Uh, yes. It, 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 I just... People have asked me to sort of tell them how I felt and mm. and what I just say is what I felt was what's the point and that that's ah. how you felt mm. emotionally what's the what's point what's the point yeah. why why do why I, I was at Headley Court and <clears throat> they were trying to help me and uh, <laughs> uh, to rehab you rehab, yeah. and I was just, you what, felt like a ghost didn't you what's the point like a it's ghost a, dead uh, man walking yeah. can you <clears throat> explain this Cotard syndrome Hillary and how it how it affects yeah, uh, the, the sufferers. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the, he uh, Warren has had a brain injury as well as a fractured spine, pelvis, ruptured lungs. Uh, he was uh, he, he was on the brink for for a long time in a coma. Um, so when they uh, found the extent of the brain damage, he'd, he'd got frontal lobe injuries. So a lot of disturbance, a lot of nerve cells in, in the part of the brain responsible for fa facial recognition, for memory, for, for processing emotions. Um, so surrounded by all those soldiers in a military hospital for many, many months, um, he became convinced that he died uh, and he was in this dissociative state um, where people were around him, but he didn't actually exist. His life had ended. Mm. Um, he, he didn't feel like he did before when he was alive. Um, so it just became this, this syndrome called Cotard syndrome, named after a French neurologist in 1880, mm. that uh, he thought he was dead. Uh, and it was actually when he met somebody else with a similar, um, uh, with a similar syndrome who'd said, I've just re reinvented my new identity. The old me had died. Is that right? Yes. yes and, yeah. and he helps you to come to terms with, with where you are now. And you're doing amazing things now, endurance racing yep. and all sorts of things. Yes. Yeah. How hard was it there, Warren, for your family, of course? Because as we were saying, you stopped eating because you thought, what's the point? It was, it was very tough. I, I, I wasn't with my family. I was, I was, yeah. I was at, at Headley Court. So that made it even harder because mm. they were th I knew they were there, but they weren't physically, they there. Weren't yeah, physically yeah. there. So you'd been so removed from everything that you from, knew and yes. understood. So, uh, um, <clears throat> so I could speak to my wife. Yeah. Um, but I, it didn't feel real in no, a way. It didn't. And things are better now, though, are they? Things are much better now. Tell us yes. about this endurance Great. challenge that you're doing, because it's an extraordinary thing. Well, it's um, with Team Brit. Uh, it's, it's, it's a team for British racing injured troops. Is uh, we do we race in the Fun Cup, which is a championship, um, which do endurance uh, car racing, mm -hmm. anything from three hours all the way up to 25 hours at, at the Spa, which. I'm the really, race jacket's really, wow. Yeah, I'm really hoping I'll do that this oh, year, no, next year. And what really saying, when he's doing that, he's completely <clears throat> focused. Everything's there yeah. together, ah. and he knows he's alive when he's doing that. Cause I really know. I wish I could <laughs> bottle that focus <laughs> and, and, bring and it sell it. Life. I wish I could sell it because yeah, I'd yeah, be a yeah, rich. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, look, it's been fascinating <laughs> to meet you, Warren. Thank you very much. Best of luck with the racing, and Thank fingers you. crossed you make that race because that would be really special, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be amazing. I yeah. just hope that my journey inspires yeah, other people with yeah, mental health issues. Yeah, very much so. I'm sure it will. So. Hills, thanks very much. Pleasure. Thank you.